hello everybody welcome back to my channel hope you're doing great so in this video we're gonna be making a high low skirt a circle high low skirt before we start i would like to say thank you for your likes your comments thank you for subscribing to my channel please subscribe like and share my video and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you get to know each time i upload new video in case you're new to my channel so let's get down to business we're gonna be needing about five to six meters of fabric this is the fabric I'm going to be working with. It's a crepe fabric. We need about 5 to 6 meters of fabric for this tutorial. I'll, I'll need just the waist and the length measurement for this tutorial. The waist measurement I'm working with is 36 inches. Then I'll be adding 2 inches for seam allowance and 2 inches for zipper allowance. That is 40 inches. Then I'll be using half of the waist measurement to cut out the back one and half of the waist measurement to cut out the front one. 40 inches divided by 2 is 20 inches. 20 inches will be for the back and 20 inches for the front but for the front panel I'll be adding some allowance to it because I'll be pleating the front panel a little bit so the front panel will be bigger than the back one so we go ahead and uh, fold the fabric into it too. I'll turn the fabric to the wrong side so the fabric is folded into two then I'll fold it again. I'm folding it into four. For this one, I'm not going to be dividing it by 6.8. I'll be dividing it by four. So my fabric is folded into four. The back length is 45 inches plus one inch seam allowance. That is 46 inches. Now I'll be adding a big waistband to it to make it a high-waisted um, skirt. The waistband I'm going to be using is 4 inches, then I'll minus 4 inches from 46 inches. 4 minus 46 inches is 42 inches, so we're going to be using 42 for the length. And the front one, the front panel is 30 inches, so we minus 4 inches, then I'll be left to 26 inches. So for the waistline, half of the waistline is 20 inches. Then you divide 20 by 4, which is 5 inches. From here, I will take my 5 inches. So right from here, I will take my mark my five inches round. So I'm cutting out the back one first before I will cut out the front panel. So from here, from where I marked out the five inches, then I will take my length, 42 inches length. After minusing the waistband, we left it 42 inches. So I will take my 42 inches, take it round. So I'm marking the 42 inches round. So this is the 42 inches length I marked out, so that I will be cutting it out. And I also cut out the waistline. I'll use this to cut out the front panel before we cut out the inches I'm going to cut out for the front side. So I finished cutting the front and the back panel. This is the back one and this is the front. Basically I cut it the same I cut it the same way but the difference the only difference between the front and the back is that the front is 10 inches bigger than the front one. Remember I said I'm going to be planting the front a little bit. So just the same method then I will take the front panel open it wide I'm going to be cutting some inches away from the damp part. So I'll open it wide like so. I open the fabric into two. That is the front panel. So this is the damp part. And we cut out some inches from the front panel. Depending on how high you want it to be. I'm taking 31 inches for the front one. So in minus 4 from 31 inches, I'll be left with 27 inches. 
So I'll mark my 27 inches here. The 4 inches is for the waistband. I'll just continue marking the 27 inches. So 27. I'll draw the 27 inches to meet the end here. Yeah. This place they have to remain the same. I'm not cutting anything from this side. So I'll now go ahead and cut this place out. The fabric is still not waste. I will use it for the waistband. So this is how the front one look. This is the front and uh, this is the back. So after cutting it, I will make a little plate at the front. So I'll plate it to that uh, 20 inches. Let's say I will take 5 inches here. From the edge here, I will mark out 5 inches. So right from here, I will start I will fold it. Fold it a little bit. Pin it. So on this side, I will mark out 5 inches on this side also. And I'll let it fold it, fold it about two, three inches, about two inches. So I'll do it here again, make a second step. And as you're printing it, make sure you check your measurements to see if it's up to the 20 inches for the front one. So I'll pleat here and pleat here again. check the waistline you don't need to exceed more than 20 inches because I need okay yeah, this is 19 inches I think I'm okay with that so I will take it I will pleat I will sew this place I pin so the back panel I will open up the back panel and look for the midpoint and split it into two because that is where we insert the zip so I will split it into two right the back side So I will turn it to the wrong side. So I will take one part of the back and pin it to this side. So I'm taking one part of the back panel. So I will pin it the side. So I'll pin the side right from the waist to the bottom. See the end side they are still equal the side the front side and the back side they are still equal because i didn't cut anything away from here so 
I've pinned this side and make sure as you're pinning it, the right side are facing each other. So I'll bring the other side, turn it again, pin this side. Open this side also. So I've pinned the both side. I pin this side and pin the other side. I will take it to my machine, sew the place I pleat, and then sew the both side before we attach the zip. So I finished sewing the side, the both side, and the pleat. So this is the pleat, yeah. So we turn it. Next is for us to sew our zip to the skirt. So I'll sew here and insert my zip, yeah. So I'll pin the zip to the one inch I cut out. Now pin this side also. I will sew the remaining part, then I sew my zip to the fabric. Then the zip is too long. After sewing it, I'll cut this out. I'll finish attaching the zip. So it waistband I cut out about 10 inches for the waistband. Remember, I said I'll be making it a high waisted um, skirt. So I'll add it, I added so I added two inches for similar ones. So I'll use one inch on this side and one inch on the other side. I use the waistline about 36 inches so the waistband is uh, 36 inches I added 2 inches to it that is 38 inches and the, the length is uh, 10 inches I added S10 to the waistband I use iron to gum it to the fabric so what we're going to do next is to pin the waistband we fold it into two then pin it to the waist line. So I'll open it. I will take my skirt, take it like so. This is the right side of the bed, the waistband. So I'll make sure I leave one inch here. Now I'll start pinning it right from here. I'll pin it around to the waistline. Now I'll go ahead and sew the waistband to the waistline. Now I'll finish attaching this. I'll finish sewing this side. So I just want to show you guys how to turn it to the other side. So I finished sewing this side and uh, I turn my fabric like so, just fold it. And I fold the waistband like so and sew it here. I'll make a notch here. Now turn it to the side. the same thing to this side so I'll take it now 
I left half an inch and so Just use it to cover the seam. So I will still stitch here. I will still stitch this side of the waistband around the waistline. And after I've done that, I will take half inch and take half inch again and hem it around the bottom of the skirt. So I'll finish sewing the band to the waistline. This is the back side. And here, this is the front. This is the finished look of our skirt. See how long the back is. And I've also hemmed the bottom of the skirt. So the back side, I'll put a hook and eye here. I'll use a needle to stitch it on it. I'll put two here. So this as well to this side. Now we hook it like so. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much guys for watching. I so will see you on my next one. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Like and share my video. Thank you. I will see you on my next one. I love you guys.